The Tarrant County woman convicted of voting illegally. She spoke for the first time since the state's highest criminal court ruled yesterday that there was actually no evidence to find her guilty. Crystal Mason's case has made national headlines. Jack Fink with reaction from her attorneys, supporters, and also the DA's office. I'm emotional right now. Because Crystal Mason, her supporters, and attorneys praised the Court of Criminal Appeals for ruling a lower appeals court got it wrong for upholding her 2018 conviction of illegal voting. A state judge in Tarrant County initially found her guilty, ruling she was ineligible to vote in 2016 because she was on supervised release after serving time in federal prison for a tax preparation scheme. In their 25-page ruling, the Court of Criminal Appeals sent the case back to the second Court of Appeals to reevaluate, saying, quote, the court below erred by failing to require proof that the appellant, Mason, had actual knowledge that it was a crime for her to vote while on supervised release. I'm grateful what the criminal courts of appeals did, but it's not at ease. This journey is not over for me, and I'm just hoping that they get it right this time. Therefore, Crystal is not guilty. She never was, and we should not be here. During Mason's trial, a supervisor from the U.S. Probation Office testified that he nor anyone else from his office told her she was ineligible to vote while on supervised release. Crystal has been victimized by injustice. A Tarrant County District Attorney's Office spokeswoman says they are not commenting on this case because it's still pending in the courts. But Mason's supporters had a message for the DA. Allow her to move on with her life, do the right thing, and stop running this woman through the ringer for something that she did not do. Since the case first went to trial, state lawmakers passed a provision in last year's controversial election law that emphasizes people cannot be charged with a crime if they don't know they're not allowed to vote. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.